there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode here on Pastiche of Skin, where we have something to talk about today. It is Humble Bundle. Once again, have a PlayStation Bundle available to us, where it's going to be the Humble 2K PlayStation Bundle. Now, let's take a better look at it and work our way through and see whether or not it is worthwhile grabbing it. I mean, as always, I always say Humble Bundles are great for charity. The charity in this particular case is Covenant House, which are an organization who provide housing for homeless children. And... You can't, I mean, I looked up the company, I looked up Covenant House, they got like a three or four star rating for uh, their their contributions to actually like how much their money goes towards the actual purpose that they have behind them. But um, I, I'll i leave that to your own discretion about how much you give to them, either that to Humble or to 2K or to the Covenant House. But what I'm here to talk about is the games. So let's take a look at Humble 2K PlayStation Bundle. First thing you must recognize is that you have to have a PSN account for a particular region to be able to do this. So, just like I told you how to do with the Asian one for Hong Kong, you need an American or a Canadian or Brazilian. There's actually a whole list of places that you actually can get it from. So you can either be United States, Canada, Mexico. <laughs> I was almost, almost about to do the Nations of the World by Yaku Warner. Uh, Mexico, Brazil, and let's get better close there, Chile, Argentina, Peru, Colombia, Panama, Costa Rica, Ecuador, Guatemala, El Salvador, Paraguay, Honduras, Bolivia, Uruguay, Nicaragua, essentially um, United States, is going, United States or Canada is going to be like the one that you're more likely to actually have and going to do, just that uh, it's all, it, most of the time people are going to grab accounts for those places in general. So quickly taking a look at the Humble 2K PlayStation Bundle, which has only been available the day. It's only started today, so it's got another 13 days before you decide to do it. And you can see there's already a fair amount of sales in there, including one from me. So let's take a look at the tiers. Pay $1 or more, you get XCOM Enemy Unknown Plus for the PS Vita. You get Civiliz Re Civilization Revolution 2 Plus for PS Vita. You get the Bureau XCOM Disclassified for the PS3 and Evolve for the PS4. I gotta be honest. This is a bit of a garbage tier, but I will, I'd be, I'm very happy to actually play XCOM Enemy Unknown on my Vita. I already have it on the PS3, I've already have it on PC, I've played it a number of times, but it's a nice little way to actually get, get me in, uh, get me happy because it's going to be a PS Vita release. We don't get that many of them anymore. We don't get that many uh, deals for PS Vita, so I'd recommend getting it for that purpose if you're just going to spend $1. The Bureau XCOM Declassified. Now, there's been, I, if you remember Noah Antweiler, the, the spoony one, uh, he referred to the Bureau Declassified as a betrayal! Betrayed me! But, um, yeah, it's a first-person shooter set in an XCOM universe. Now, obviously, this is going to be XCOM heavy, as we can already tell from the first two. And then at the very end, there is Evolve, which went free to play on PC not that long ago. So to get a free copy or a $1 copy of Evolve, I'm willing to give it a try. I like the idea of asynchronous uh, gameplay where there's one creature versus a team. This is a game that I've actually never got into because of uh, a lot of the issues with the DLC and what people thought about it at the time. So maybe this, if this is Evolve and it's got a lot of stuff with it, then this might be worthwhile if it is just the base, base set game. It's barely worth the dollar as far as I know. So on to the next tier of five dollar well, four pound fifty eight or five dollars ninety or over. You got XCOM Enemy Within on PS3. The best XCOM. <laughs> it's a it's the expansion for XCOM, the original enemy unknown. It has the original XCOM enemy unknown in it. It's just a it comes as a package deal with enemy within now. Good deal. Bioshock 1 for PS3. Battleborn for PS4. Oh, which actually, in fact, isn't the full game. It is Battleborn Trial. Oh, look at this. Ah, see, we've got the fact that Battleborn's gone free to play. Um, this is interesting. I already play own Battleborn. I'm curious what this will be whenever I play it. But a Battleborn Trial, Platinum VC, $9.99. Interesting. I'm curious to know what this is about. Where there's actually a difference. I'll take a better look at that very shortly. Borderlands 1 for PS3. Borderlands 2 for PS3. Which is kind of negated by the fact that I have the Handsome Collection for PS4. So, great um, PS3 game releases. But uh, if you have the Handsome Collection, which is quite cheap, uh, it's not going to be really that much worthwhile. Mafia 2. So, Mafia 3. Uh, you've seen the playthrough that I did of Mafia 3. It looked like it was a bit of fun. I could get back into playing the older one that was actually a, a slightly different tone, a bit more of a gangsterish world, um, playing more Italian mob than actually like taking down a mob or taking down other mobs. But uh, that, I'm willing to check that out. Uh, Mafia 2 was great on PC apparently, but for PS3, I don't know. Uh, I actually haven't heard much about it. I can't remember much about it being said at the time, but it always referred to as a GTA clone light in a lot of ways. And that's a little bit of a misgivings about essentially a, a plot-driven game, 
but I'm curious to find out more about Mafia 2. Of course, Spec Ops The Line, a classic, a well-known game for PS3. A shoot 'em up with a moral dilemma, essentially a video game retelling of Heart of Darkness, uh, or Apocalypse Now, I suppose, in a lot of ways. Uh, the moral quandaries of a soldier and what actually happens to them mentally whenever they're asked to, or asked or decide to do things out in the battlefield. Good game. Uh, also had a lot of issues with the hard mode now whenever I played through it originally myself. Uh, I'm not too sure. I don't know if I have this on PS3. I think I had it on Xbox originally. So it would be nice to have a, a copy of it in my library. But um, yeah, this is one. This is an experience game. This is one that you actually, if you have a PS3, you should have probably played it at some point. Now up to the $20 tier. And the only thing in the $20 tier is a copy of XCOM 2. So essentially, this bundle, in my opinion, is based around selling you a $20 copy of XCOM 2 and then getting XCOM Enemy Unknown Plus and XCOM Enemy Within for the PS3 at the same time. So this is essentially a deal for a copy of XCOM 2 with all this stuff kind of thrown in at the, by the wayside. I'm, I'm not massively impressed by this bundle, but I want to play XCOM 2. Um, I heard there's actually, it's good fun, but also has its own issues. I was a big fan of Enemy Unknown, and I wouldn't mind, I'm looking forward to playing Enemy Within, but this, if Xbox 2 is actually, is the bomb, or is a bomb, I'll be able to get to experience it and tell you guys about it in a video very soon. But as you can see, not an amazing PlayStation bundle. I mean, some of the other ones that we've received over time, the Capcom bundles, um, the THQ Nordic bundles, they actually had some games that were like, wow, I never thought I would play that. And a lot of them translated from PS3 to PS4 because they had just gotten their remasters. In this case, this is a very PS3 heavy bundle with Evolve, a trial for Battleborn, and XCOM 2 for 20 bucks for the PS4 users. If you're a Sony guy who has everything, kind of like the way I do, that actually has all the platforms and can get the full maximum value out of this, I highly recommend it because so many games you might not actually have. And of course, if you're just a PS4 player, this is going to be a very hard deal to swallow, but XCOM 2, Battleborn, and Evolve. Two games I really could not care about anymore. And one game that I'm actually curious about, although stuck at the highest tier. So, yeah, you can always check it out. Um, of course, you get the 10% off the monthly Humble Bundle, which is, of course, PC game. So if you're a console player, it doesn't really matter. Guys, this is the PlayStation 20, 2K PlayStation Bundle. Um, I'm not too sure if this is actually worthwhile. I, I, it's worthwhile for charity. I always recommend to buy the Humble Bundle just to support charity, but um, the contents of this bundle are not amazing. So if you're willing to actually toss up $20 for a copy of XCOM 2, that's essentially what it is. If you haven't got XCOM 2, you want to play XCOM 2, and you want to give to charity, do what I did, buy the copy of XCOM 2, go for the top tier, and make sure it goes straight to the charity or to Humble to actually encourage them to do more stuff like this in the future. I want to say thank you very much for watching. It's an absolute pleasure to have you guys here on the channel, and it's always a pleasure to tell you more stuff about things that are happening on the internet, essentially. Uh, <laughs> that was a terribly awkward phrasing. Um, yeah, the Humble Bundles are always been really fun to actually go through here. I hope you actually enjoyed my thoughts and opinions on some of the games. And of course, if you enjoyed it, make sure to hit the subscribe button sitting somewhere around the screen here, because essentially, um, well, I just realized this, this setup doesn't have the subscribe button on screen, but you know what I mean, hit the subscribe button. And if you actually enjoy watching the stuff here on the channel, make sure to memorize the name Pastiche of Skin, search for it on Google. I'm not trying to hide, it's easy to find me. I hope to see you again very soon. And if you're watching this on YouTube, you can actually check out another uh, couple of bundles that I've done here on the channel. There will actually be a couple of links to them over here, and there will be a playlist over on the far side, and a video designed for you based on your YouTube analytics and the things you like to watch. I hope you actually check them out, and I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye.